Determination in the face of massive challenge, the grit to not give up. Tonight, we meet a man who refused to quit when life took perhaps the most bizarre of turns. Now, before we begin, we want to remember and remind you that what you're about to see started with just a single mosquito. The journey that followed forever changed him. Lauren Zakalik explains in this WFAA original. Right here, sorting and hanging donated clothes. One piece at a time. Is exactly this is fun. where Alton Stockton wants to be. Satisfaction given back. Volunteer work fills his soul. You're, you're serving the, the public. A devotion to giving back, even after so much was taken from him. It, it kind of flashes in front of your eyes how, how quickly and how, how, how quickly you can die. In 2017, the Bedford grandfather was looking forward to retirement and spending more time volunteering. Just a pounding in your head, just a constant pounding. When he got sick. And woke up to take the dog out and I'd lost use of my right leg. Then he lost even more movement and then some memories. And when the diagnosis came, doctors feared he'd lose his life. You know, it looked like you were dying right in front of us. It was West Nile, neuroinvasive disease. Never really worried about it. You know, the mosquitoes never bothered me. So as you start reading it and, and searching about it, you go, holy, you know, this is a nasty disease. Alton faced a long, rocky road in reclaiming his life. He still couldn't use his right leg or left shoulder, and he was wheelchair bound. Months of rehab led him here. Follow the ball with your eyes. Good. To Texas Health Fort Worth. I kind of came in with some reservation. <sighs> Physical therapist Deline Knight wasn't sure what his recovery would look like. And he had really significant weakness on that right leg. We went through the evaluation and, and she said, you know, there is a possible chance you'll, you'll never get out of this, the wheelchair. And I said, you don't know me. So he worked and worked some more. Tirelessly. Hold and breathe. <sighs> fearlessly. It's hard. Strengthening and surviving. Just winded more than anything else. Through physical therapy, he was able to ditch the wheelchair for a walker, then the walker for crutches. And on a trip to Florida this summer, he walked to the beach and triumphantly crawled on his hands and knees through the ocean waves. And it's, uh, you lose so much. And to get back the small parts, it's just a, a true blessing. It's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's an achievement. How big of a part do you think his attitude has played in his recovery? Oh, huge, huge, huge. huge. Yeah. So I'm just taking them out, inspecting them. He thinks this. This is all good stuff today. Has helped too. Of us, we're so blessed to have what we have. Even as West Nile ravaged his body, Alton continued to volunteer. <sighs> so I stand a little while, my leg is tired. I sit for a while at places like Angel's Attic and Grapevine. OK, we're going to go to Schumach, the first one tonight. And with the Bedford PD Citizens Patrol Program. We have been blessed. We have so much that we can be thankful for. And I think at some point you have to think about what you can do for others. See how much that thyroid work today. And that outlook is something no disease. Show me what you got. Can ever. Me, make sure you breathe in. Take away. Okay, slowly let it bend. Lauren Zakalik, Channel 8 News. Go, go, go. go. Blessed indeed. Right now, cities across North Texas are still spraying mosquito, mosquito pools for West Nile. Dallas and Tarrant County did just this past weekend.